There's no doubt that Chipotle changed the fast food industry. And if you're a Chipotle fan, you probably knew all about the restaurant. But we bet you didn't know the answer to this one question. Does McDonald's own Chipotle? It might be surprising, but at one point, the answer was yes. Here's a little bit of history of Chipotle that includes how McDonald's made $1.5 billion off the brand and how Chipotle almost lost it all. If you enjoy eating fresh, locally grown produce, you have one man to thank for that, Jeremiah Towers. His restaurant named Stars opened its doors in San Francisco, California, and marketed itself as a fine dining experience for celebrities and socialites of California. Towers' new approach to food and dining made him the first celebrity chef. However, Jeremiah Towers isn't the most significant chef to come out of his restaurant. Instead, it was one of his apprentices, Steve Ells. Steve graduated from culinary school and was immediately drawn to Towers' unique take on food. He began working with Towers in San Francisco. Steve dreamed one day of opening his own fine dining restaurant that would rival the success and fame of his employer. While working at Stars, Ells was exposed to many celebrities and wealthy patrons from all over the country. However, it wasn't the high society that caught his attention. It was the immensely popular taquerias down the street. Steve became obsessed with their tacos and left work one day with the intention of never going back. He had a new plan. He was going to open a burrito restaurant and use the money from that to open his own fine dining establishment. Drawing on his skills as a professional chef, Steve made the menu for the new restaurant himself. His menu emphasized consistency over quantity. For Steve, it was important that everything on the menu be consistently good, no matter when the customer came. Steve's menu also emphasized that he wasn't just another taco shop, because when it came to quality, Steve's food was more comparable to a fine dining restaurant than to the taquerias he took inspiration from. With the founding principles of high quality and consistent dining, Steve took a loan from his parents and opened his first restaurant in Denver, Colorado. The young chef had a lot riding on the success of his first restaurant. He knew that he would need to sell 107 burritos per day to be profitable. Fortunately, thanks to his emphasis on high quality food and consistency, customers kept coming back and bringing their friends. At the end of the first month, he was selling over 1,000 burritos per day. He began to call his little burrito shop, Chipotle. Steve saw the immense success of his first store and knew that he had stumbled upon a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Steve quickly put his dreams of opening his own fine dining restaurant on hold to focus on the growing Chipotle. He was able to raise money from some friends of his parents and opened a second store, which was just as popular as the first. In just five years of operation, Chipotle had grown from a single location to 16 different stores, which were all wildly successful. Fast food giant McDonald's saw the success of Chipotle and was attempting to diversify its brand into different fast food sectors when it set eyes on Chipotle. McDonald's began with a small initial investment into the company and used its connections with supply chains to grow the brand from 16 stores to over 500 in just seven years. Chipotle was now a nationally recognized chain and had not lost its commitment to quality and consistency. McDonald's grew into a majority owner of the brand, and in 2005, the company was set for one of the most successful IPOs of the decade. But the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Steve L's Little Burrito Shop grew into a nationally recognized chain. So when disaster struck, it hit hard. In 2015, there were six different cases of widespread food poisoning at his restaurants, which resulted in over 400 people getting sick. In each case, the cause of the illness was traced back to the poor sanitation practices of the restaurant. Overnight, 
the public's trust in Chipotle was ruined. A brand which built itself on the image of consistency did not hold up well to the accusations of bad sanitation. Customers found themselves worried about eating at their local Chipotle because they knew that every restaurant nationwide was following the same procedures. Steve had to do something to save his restaurant and he had to do it fast. His solution was rooted in the company tradition of quality. Els shut down every single Chipotle store for a whole morning to conduct a comprehensive audit of safety practices and train entire stores on new sanitation methods. He found that people were not following the already implemented safety protocols because there was no accountability. So he made all sanitation protocols take two people. One person would sanitize the food while the other watched to make sure it was being done properly. These new safety protocols worked. And since 2015, the company has only had two major outbreaks. However, even if the sanitation process was fixed and Chipotle was safe to eat at again, public trust in the chain was destroyed. The company that was built on reputation lost it all to the food poisoning headlines and would have to change their marketing strategy fast if they wanted to succeed again. Els knew that the brand could be successful again if he could just get people eating there and talking about it again. So he started pouring money into advertising and incentives. He created free food programs, as well as customer education programs that were only accessible by loyal customers. His solution worked, and by 2017, just two years later, some store's sales were up by 17% across the nation. The Stepping Stone restaurant of Jeremiah Towers' apprentice quickly grew into something no one could ever have imagined. Steve Ells' little taco shop made him $300 million by the time he stepped down from both the board and as CEO of Chipotle in 2017. Today, Chipotle sits at over 2,000 locations worldwide and is regarded by many to be the first in a new trend of fast food restaurants that emphasize high-quality food.